Okay, we're going to do something here. Do you see this? It's October 13th of 2023. All right. Do you see this video? Pot is the least of our worries. YouTube something. Because YouTube's fucking with my channel, people. With their fucking shadow banning shit. Okay? Right? They got they they put no comments on this video. Right? Right? They, that's what they pay their staff for is to harass fucking YouTubers that's been on YouTube since two thousand and nine. Right? To 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 destroy community activism in a positive kind of way. Right? Because you know they promote their satanic bullshit crap. So in the meantime Okay, do you see? Now Yesterday, this went back up to, I think, 102. Today, it's 100. It keeps doing that, people. It's been doing that ever since I uploaded the video. When did I upload the video? August 23rd of 2023. YouTube likes to keep it at 100 views. If it starts to creep up, they put it fucking back. It starts to creep up, they put it fucking back. It starts to creep up, they put it fucking back. And if they're putting it back on this video, you know they're doing it with the rest of the fucking videos. Yeah, we'll watch this stupid shit too. Okay, 46 views, uploaded October 9th of 2023. My last video, normalizing the act of ambush, something that fucking YouTube staff is good at. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Dropping the numbers on this one too, right? Stupid bitches. Okay, now it's the next day. You can see, it is the 14th. See, 101, right? Same one, where's my finger? Here we go. Pot is the least of our worries. They got it at 101 right now. Where am I? Here we go. My eyes are all bugged out this morning. Uh, just waking up, starting my day. This one went to 47. It was higher than that, but they dropped it down to 46. Now today it's 47. That's the one that's right there right now. It was uploaded, right? Everything else in the middle, I'm not paying attention to because it's not like I sit here and watch this shit, but I notice it, so hold on. Okay, so I'm going to call this video YouTube BS hyphen grape jelly. Because I'm working on grape jelly right now. <laughs> right? And we know I've got a thorn on my side with YouTube and their BS. So right now... With the last video, normalizing the act of ambush, to which Israel now, as of October 14th of 2023, has um, informed the Palestine people that live up in the Gaza Strip, as everybody knows, to get the fuck out of town. Because they're going to go in there with their land troops, their missiles and airplanes, I guess, and just terrorize and tear up what hasn't been torn up to flush out a fringe zealot group of Islamic people. But you know what? I think people are starting to realize that for as big and bad as Israel is trying to make itself sound like it is in terms of, well, we're just standing up for our people and we're going to fight back and put an end to it once and for all well if that was the case where were they for seven hours before they decided to intervene what was going on and not only that though people you know you really need to question a lot of what you're seeing on fucking YouTube and everywhere else on the internet when it relates to this shit because if you notice we don't see too much about what's going on in Ukraine and Russia when it comes to that war and the aftermath of things being blown up and 
people being displaced and all this other crap because what Russia put it on lockdown because they don't want Ukraine to know what they're doing Ukraine put it on lockdown nobody can record anything report on it you know it's all but don't worry believe us it's re we're really in a war just give us another hundred billion dollars so that we can carry on with this war that we're not going to record and document <laughs> but all of a sudden Israel is up in front documenting fucking everything right and it's like on every news media almost in terms of people reporting on it whether it's the alternative media or the regular media you know and they're dragging in real fast real quick other countries that are in that area and Israel is not only satisfied to go after Gaza, but I guess they're going after... Oh, hold on a minute. Anyway, my son is going to be neighborly, neighbor, neighborly and help one of the neighbors <coughs> replace their cameras on their house. Only two of them. She can't do it for herself. So he, she asked me if maybe he could help her. and He, he said he would. So... Uh, that's pretty nice of him. Anyway, as I was saying, what was I saying? <coughs> yeah, so anyway, Israel now, apparently, <coughs> has taken it upon themselves. Hold on a minute. So yeah, anyway, Israel has taken it upon themselves as of October 14th of 2023 to seriously think about attacking, I don't know, I can't remember if it's Lebanon or Syria. As if Canada needs more Syrian immigrants, people, because they ship them in at 10,000 in one pop, and they're still coming in because they're bringing in their families as we're facing a housing crisis, okay? Like, seriously. And, you know, if they're still bringing them in, what, is Syria still at war? And Israel just is going to make it worse is is that what's happening here because they're going after that zealot group of islamic individuals that want to have jihad <laughs> anyway it was a, it was a setup people and lots of people are thinking like that and lots of people are saying it <coughs> sorry you can't have seven hours <coughs> of mayhem <coughs> whatever that mayhem consisted of because not everybody agrees with the footage that's coming out. Because there's, there's a lot of fake footage too, right? In terms of some people don't think that <coughs> those young people in that rave were actually quote-unquote murdered. Versus they ran away, right? Because they're looking at the videos and they're saying, I didn't see nobody die in those videos. All I seen was people run away. <coughs> <coughs> While the news media, the main one, right, <coughs> the bought and paid for by the government one, and their clones, <coughs> are all reporting that hundreds of young people died. What's true? Who knows? Right? Because for as big and bad as Israel is supposed to be, where were they for seven hours when all that shit was going on. Well, clearly they were looking for an excuse to go off and ambush not just a small area of a city, <coughs> but the whole fucking region <coughs> in terms of Gaza. <coughs> right? <coughs> oh my God. Oh. <laughs> and that's what they're doing. And they're not satisfied with that. Now they're making threats on Syria. And maybe Iran, saying that they're going after those zealots, right? And by any means necessary, going to wipe them all out. Yeah, okay, as if. As they expect other people like the United States, other countries like the United States, more than likely Canada, <coughs> and anyone else that will listen to them. Hold on a minute. I'm getting a hot flash here. I got the dehydrator on with broccoli that I blanched. <coughs> so right there, that's a trigger. Plus, I've been working with these grapes, and Andre and I, we got a few more that we found, right? So, you know, and then the air is, like, hot because the heat's been on, and anyway. All right. So, yeah, like, and like YouTube, they took down my video when I was talking on about Israel. 
I had the word Israel in my, this was, what, a year or two ago? It wasn't that long ago. Right, I don't remember what the video is. I don't know if I reposted it back up on BitChute as a BitChute exclusive. <coughs> or if I intended to do that but just never got a chance. Either or, they didn't like what I had to say, YouTube staff. And they took down the video because YouTube works for corrupt government as they bring in their artificial robotoids and fucking AI and all this other crap <clears throat> because they're on some sort of satanic agenda if you know what to look for and take the time to fucking document it it's not that hard to find it on YouTube trust me and the ones that are mainly successful on YouTube are the ones that come in with their symbolism to promote satism and and that's just the bottom line okay well I sit here looking to see what's going to happen with my little measly 48 views you can see that right and you know watching the date right so I can come back and show you in two or three four days from now how 48 went down to 46 right along with this one that's sitting up you know and these other ones I don't pay attention to because one, you know, it's hard for me to see, and it's not like I'm playing a numbers game here, but, you know, this one has gone up to like 102, like two times already, and then went back to 100, now we're at 101, and I'm waiting to either get another view, and then I'm waiting for it to go back to 100, or I'm waiting for this to go back to 100, within the week. And if you know, if they're doing it to those two, they're doing it to all the other ones as well, people. And this is why, you know, when I say I don't like being YouTube's bitch, to which they think I am, because that's basically how they treat me, me, people, okay? And anything that I ever fought for as a community activist, because they're warmongers, they make good money off of their advertisement when they direct the traffic to those YouTubers that report on that shit with their black and white squares in the background cracking stupid jokes about, well, if you're in your bunker eating uh, freeze-dried steak and you've got somebody banging on the door wanting to come in Will you let them in and share your steak or are you going to leave them outside to eat dead babies? Ha 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 ha, it's just a joke. No, that's not a fucking joke. Because not everybody can afford to be in a bunker eating freeze-dry steak. So, clearly, that individual that perpetrates that kind of stuff on YouTube, who gets 32,000 views, 86,000 views, talking the same old crap over and over and over and over and over again for fucking year after year after year after year. But now I guess they've got substance because the world really is going nuts. Andre, turn that down. <clears throat> right? Oh, well, they slap them on their advertisement. Right? So they're making, YouTube's making money off that crap. I'm sorry, I'm not going to let you into my bunker because I'm some rich fuck sitting in a hole eating dehydrated steak and you can go eat your fucking kids. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Should have thought about that before the bombs blew out. Blew everything up. You, you, you should have been better prepared. Yeah, call me a fucking prepper. Yeah, okay. Not everybody can afford that shit. Some of us are stuck. Right? Nothing to laugh about. <coughs> And then justify it by saying, oh, it was just a joke. But that's what YouTube props up. Sick jokes. Right? I'm just saying. So, yeah, I'm sitting here watching this crap, and I'm like, you know, you're feeling pretty miserable with it, Judy. But, you know, don't be surprised, because this is, this is, this is the true colors of YouTube. Because, you know, they're hooking up with those dirty fucking cops that like to cover up illegal organ harvesting. And, you know, traffic human body parts. And fucking little girls. And do their snuff movies. And all that other shit. Right? Yeah, right? And so in the meantime, I'm working on grapes because I managed to have some this year. So I'm going to show them to you. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. And then, yeah, I'm just going to monitor this crap. So hold on a minute. Okay, so basically this is what Andre and I found today. 
and they're pretty much all gone now, right? There's some up really, really high that maybe my son might get for me tomorrow. And that will be my last batch. And what I'm going to do with these ones is I'll have to deseed them. It takes like 12 hours. Like, you don't even know. I dry the seeds because you can actually grind them up and put them in capsules and swallow them like that and you get the benefit behind that. Or I suppose you could probably put them, grind them up and then grind them further into a nice fine powder and then sprinkle them into your food. Or you can grow them. And then the skins I, I, uh, I dry separate, which I have a bag full, right? And then again, you know, can grind them up and put them into food, right? And depending on how ripe they are, I mean, these ones are a little more sweeter than before, right? So, you know, this, the skins tend to be a little more sour. I don't want to say like lemon, but yeah, you can use it as, a, you know, grind it up and then sprinkle it into some salad dressing or something. So nothing goes to waste, right? So these, what's going to happen to these ones is um, after I'm done this batch, this is the last, you know, right? It's right here. Where is it? Right here. It's this right here. Okay. It's kind of like a, a sauce. But I want more like a jelly. So I looked for a hand crank um, mill to make a juice to which this is actually pretty good. And uh, it's 11 cups, you can see, right? And then I'm going to put, so that's 11 cups, 11 cups of, of grape that's been through a mill to make it like that. <clears throat> I'm going to put at least a quarter cup of squeezed lemon, right? And then I'm going to do five and a half cups sugar. And then I'm going to bring it to a boil. And then I'm going to turn it down. And I'm going to boil it, well, start bringing it to a boil. I'm not going to bring it to a high boil, right? Because I want to cook it down for a little while to evaporate some of the water. And you have to give, you have to give the sugar some time to change its molecules. But before I change the molecules too much, I just want to boil off a bit of the, I guess you could say, water right and uh, yeah and then eventually this time I'm going to use a candy thermometer and I'm going to bring it up to 220 degrees Fahrenheit and once it gets to that point it should be at a jelly state where I'm going to jar it up and then these ones I'm going to do the same idea the only thing is is I'm going to add because I got those apples downstairs in Auntie Shimei's room, and Andre said they're holding up pretty freaking good. So, all right, I told you. I told you they would. I don't know, like, there might be one or two bad apple in th the bucket, but for the most part, I'm sure all those apples are holding up pretty good because Andre's been somewhat checking them. And I'm going to make some apple juice from those fresh organic apples that fell from the tree after these are processed to this state and I'm going to combine the juice right with the apple juice and then I'm going to make grape apple jelly and then I'm done with the grapes and then whatever's left for apples after the fact I'm not going to use a lot of apples but I definitely just want a, like a case of some sort anyway of applesauce. And then after that, I'm pretty much done with my canner, to which I may very well be able to put downstairs. Yeah. Unless, of course, I want to do something else. Oh, which actually I do, now that I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking to go off, and I probably will, now that it's on my mind. I'm going to buy some Concord grape juice as well as red grapes or purple grapes whether from Canadian Superstore or Walmart it doesn't matter to me a big bowl like this 
season and all. <laughs> do what I gotta do. And then I'm gonna make grape, um, uh, Concord grape jelly. Um, yeah, Concord grape jelly. Then I'll more than likely put my canner away. Mm hmm. Yeah. Because I so want to put it away. <laughs> you don't know. And my eyes are getting worse. I'm going to see the eye doctor soon. And I'm going to ask him how difficult it is to change this lens. Because that was a mistake. Oh, yeah. And it might even have slipped in terms of, I don't, it might not even be in its proper position because it's irritating me, right? I can feel it. It's too scratchy. There's no reason for it to be scratchy. And I know that that can happen because that happened to my neighbor and she wasn't really doing anything. And when she talked to the eye specialist about it, her cataract lens had been in her eye for over a year. And he said, well, what were you doing? And she says, well, I was down on the ground, you know, doing something with my plants. And he says, well, why were you doing that? You weren't supposed to be doing that. She said, yeah, but it's been over a year. Like, what the fuck? Like, seriously. Like, you don't even know how many times I bend down in a day and do shit. <laughs> so anyway, but I've been working really, really hard. As you can see, that's two batches of broccoli right there. It was $14.40 or something like that, so we'll just round it off at 30 bucks. $15, $15, right? So 30 bucks. And then another $15. So 45, sometimes they gave me a little more, sometimes they gave me a little less, either or I'm happy. And I got another batch, now my last batch of this broccoli dehydrating in my dehydrator. So what was that, 30 and 30, that's 60 bucks. If I would have bought them fresh, not on sale, it would have costed 120 on the low ball maybe 150 to 160 depending on if it's 297 a pound or 397 a pound compared to a dollar 44 for a whole bunch <laughs> so no regrets i i really like this you don't even know and i'm on my last batch so I'm, I'm going to be making lots of cream of cauliflower soup, stuff like that. It would be nice if I could have a positive attitude on YouTube. But again, YouTube staff and their bullshit, you know, after all these years, you're still fucking with me. Right? In terms of, you know, you get 102 views and it goes down to 100. And I'm like, oh, okay. Well, we'll just let it ride. Whatever. You know, because... I think what happens is sometimes people click on and they click right out. So technically, the comp you know, whatever logs the view count doesn't necessarily see it as anyone watching the video. So therefore, the click doesn't count. So they take it away. But, you know, if that happened immediately, yeah, I could see it. But when you're sitting at 102 views, for example, for that, you know, one particular video for over a week and then you know you come in and you just randomly go down and you notice now it's a hundred and you're like okay well it's been sitting at 102 for a week but now it's a hundred and then it creeps back up to 102 you notice that and then you wake up the next day to see what's going on and it's back to a hundred like it's stupid and now it's now it's at 101 that's because somebody on YouTube's end is playing games what they want me to make a fucking video so that they can mock me stalk me right make me make me what be their little 
puppet, their bitch. Like what whatever. Like whatever, man. Whatever. Whoever is doing that, you're gonna end up losing your job anyway. Yeah, yeah. Google's gonna replace you with a freaking robot if they haven't already. Yeah, the way the way this these individuals act <coughs> with their portfolio of New Nations Unity sitting at their desk with a green light to harass me in one way or another with their shadow banning techniques and all that crap because they don't want me talking about what? Israel? Even though everybody under the sun is now talking about Israel? Yeah, okay. As Israel is on a rampage to ambush one million people plus? Come on, people. As if, as if that's a normal activity? All of a sudden, out of the blue? Yeah, okay. As they basically sacrifice their own people for seven freaking hours and then want to be mum on it? Yeah, okay. That's like these politicians out here sacrificing my children and being mum on it, people. Yeah. Yeah, they know it. And they do it on purpose. And they get people to do it for them. Yeah. Because a lot of these individuals, I wanted to say things because that's what they are, people. A lot of these things, you only really have to remember, you're dealing with a program. You're dealing with clones that can't live very long. Only think that they can until they're replaced time after time after time. Clone number eight, right? You know what I'm saying? Sooner or later, their tickers wear out, whatever those tickers are. <laughs> right? And uh, that's why they have no remorse of any kind. No. That's why they have no remorse of any kind. So anyway, I try not to think about it. And being that this video now is quite long, technically I should find the time just to upload it to be YouTube's bitch. So people know that I haven't died yet. Yet. Right. Listening to the riff raff. Right. Getting ready for the next wave of immigrants to flood BC. Right so that they can get the um, startup costs to start their businesses and buy up all the franchise and take over every industry within the province basically so they can come back and point the finger at you and accuse you of being fucking lazy yeah yeah and then go on about well we want to be doctors, lawyers, and teachers. And I'm like, okay. Well, we've got Dr. Barr. We know what he did. And that other doctor, I don't know where the hell he came from. He wasn't Punjabi, but he definitely wasn't fucking Canadian, that's for sure. And, um... We got Dr. Fasinski, who actually speaks Ukrainian and came from Ukraine. So we shouldn't be surprised about what he did to my family and what he did to me in terms of, like, we, you know, it's been exposed that Ukraine has been trafficking children for organ harvesting and all that other crap as countries support their agenda to continue that right. So you can't be surprised that the doctors out here that are from Ukraine also like to support that shit by burying it, all right, and making it so that they threaten you to take them to court so that they don't have to fucking deal with the truth of what their kind are like, right, in terms of Shimei was dead. Well, if that's the case, you should be glad to give me her medical files and show me exactly where you, you seen it because you said it so that at least I had a fighting chance to fight for my family. But I guess I wasn't recurring in enough in his liking 
because the name Chorny in Ukrainian is black and we know that Ukrainians are racist and that's why a lot of people call them Nazis <laughs> so you can't keep up with this shit and now you've got Jewish leadership didn't say people Jewish leadership that in the back of their mind see people like my kind I don't know if they see the Punjabis like me because you know they're so much more resourceful or maybe a certain sect of Muslims as long as they've got money like they're now in where Saudi Arabia right you know they're trying to cut it somebody's trying to cut a deal I don't know anyway it's just stupid shit stupid shit so much stupid shit so yeah they put a, a over a million people on the run because they're going for the land grab of Gaza but they're not satisfied with that because they're using the zealot group as an excuse to provoke war with other countries that are already in war that are flooding their people my way that are taking up the housing as they're setting themselves up either with the welfare system collecting disability checks as they're selling fucking drugs in the neighborhood or they're tapping into all these federal provincial and municipal subsidies to get them situated where they can you know take over the franchise doesn't matter if it's the pot business you know the local gas station the grocery store or what or the pizza shop whatever so that they can convince themselves that somehow there are so much more hard workers as again again people families like mine one by one being plucked off here plucked off there we just die I'm sorry, YouTube staff. I'm not going to put on a happy face and tell a lie so that you can slap on your ad and really treat me like your little, what, wench? Prostitute? Sticking my ass up in the air like a tasty bonnie? Like, fuck you. Fuck you. Seriously. There. Now you have an excuse to go into my channel and start removing all kinds of views so that when people come to my channel and they see, oh, she's only got 45 views, she's only got 16 views, she's only got 78 views, no, oh, she must be boring, there's something wrong with the girl, I'm not even going to take my time to look and just move on where all the action is with the black and white fucking satanic symbolism with the sick jokes of eating fucking babies. There's your YouTube shit. Now, it's a good thing I don't let depression get me down to the point where I just curl up into a ball and fade away. I actually keep myself pretty freaking busy. Blind as a bat and all. Right? Uh-huh. Okay, not done yet. Check this out. 45 minutes ago. 47 minutes ago. Okay? Emergency alert. Israel war update. Iran threatens to attack Israel if Gaza invasion proceeds. Okay, so now we've got Iran jumping on the bandwagon. I just read another one here. Where was it? Uh, alert. Stay home if this weekend. Okay, you all right. Where was it? I just seen it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Israel, Palestine. This is Wuhan, right? Israel strikes Damascus and El Pedo Airport in Syria. Okay. Okay. So you know what's going to happen now. Where's my finger? There it is. I guess that's, there you go. Right? We know what's going to happen now. We're going to have another 100,000 Syrians come to Canada with half of them on welfare, with some of them running their fucking heroin. Don't tell me it's not happening because it is. All right? <laughs> well, the other half get federal subsidies 
provincial subsidies and municipal subsidies to take up all the housing and buy up all the businesses when the Punjabis aren't doing it. Okay? I'm just saying. And then we wonder why families like mine are dying because we're being targeted just like YouTube targets my fucking channel. Right? But you see, I got nothing to gain from what I got to say, so it's not like I have to put on a pretty pretty dress and, you know, and, and, and pretend to be somebody I'm not just so that I can get more views and maybe some chump change from YouTube Here's one thing you when it comes to, uh, anything on when it comes to, uh, what is it called? Revenue mo being monetized, right? And during a nuclear war... Those transmitter sites would be one of the major targets so, so this by our enemies. So if those transmitter sites get set destroyed, channel. there has to be some kind of backup system to communicate with our nuclear forces to transmit uh, launch orders and also uh, attack options, especially right. to our submarines. Okay, so that's what these planes are for. They're very, very important. And to have two of them in the air plus a B-52 tells me that uh, our military right because the United States have had their largest aircraft carrier go to the you know where where Israel is right to go defend Israel which by default will just automatically include the USA into the fight as Germany, I think, is providing um, weaponry for Israel, but not soldiers. <laughs> As Israel has its sights on Syria, knowing that they're going to provoke, what was it, Iran? <laughs> right? Uh. Yeah, Iran. That if they go and they actually start leveling Gaza, they're going to be at war with Iran. So what, is the United States going to start fighting fucking Iran too? Is that it? As what, the Canadians are going to rescue all those people that are in the crossfire to come to Canada? Yeah, okay. Well, the Punjabis will get rich. They own all the fucking houses out here. So they'll just put everybody in a small little room and overcharge them because they know that the government is paying them to come here, live here for nothing, do nothing for at least a year, except for maybe a few that, you know, get those business grants and that kind of thing, or maybe sell drugs so that they can get out of the fucking hole that they're in once they get here because you know they're in a hole. Or maybe they'll just move in with their family as they target my house to get me out so that they can all move into my fucking house. Like, this is sick. This is sick. And then you're going to get the politicians coming up and acting like nothing's going on. Yeah, right. ...is on high alert, that our nuclear forces are on high alert. We also have uh. a lot of... Uh, military activity in the Mediterranean and... So who cares? If YouTube wants to, I don't know, what would you call it? I have 102 views, I go down to 100. I go back up to 102 views, I go back down to 100. Now I'm at 100 views. Same thing with that other video. I had 48 views, it went down to 45. And then it went up to 46. And, and then it went up to 48, and now we're back up to 48. So what, are they going to bring it down to 46? Or are they going to bring it down to 44? Because you know they're going to keep it fucking low because they don't want you to hear what I got to say. Uh-uh-uh. No. No, no. Because they can't slap on their fucking ads. Right? Well, I suppose they could because they do it on Raw Squaws and she, squ she swears a lot, actually. Quite a bit, really, for, for what it's worth. Not all the time, but quite often she'll let loose and let it spill out not so much that oh you don't even know what I wanted to say but besides that point in Europe right now we have uh, some NATO planes going to and from uh, the Mediterranean and London and uh, various parts of Europe uh, some of these are evacuation flights 
you know, evacuating. Uh, Where are they evacuating to? <laughs> Canada? Surrey, British Columbia, Canada? Good luck finding housing. Uh, citizens, uh, civilians, other flights are... Uh, for oh, yeah, right. Those, those people that are rich, they're in Israel, right? And, and that's another thing. You know, I, I guess I should know this, but I honestly, I don't pay attention to Israel. But I guess it's full of Jew Jewish people. That's the whole point of Israel, is to protect the Jews, where a lot of those Jews are extremists and zealots and see anyone that's not like them as less than human. They call us goyons or something, and that we should be eradicated. So what the fuck are people supporting here, okay? When, they, when this country and those individuals with their particular religion can't even clean up their own damn backyard. I'm just saying, okay? So you don't get it, if you don't get it from the Punjabis who think that they're better than everybody else, you get it from the Jewish people. <laughs> and if you don't get it from the Jewish people, you get it from the Eleanor Gildings, the Catholics, right? You know? <laughs> and if you notice, the ones that rob and steal and cause the most hurt and are the most destructive are the ones with the money, people. Have you not figured that one out? The ones with the money that, you know, are in positions of power, that have good employment or whatever when it comes to middle class and the upper middle class okay I'm not talking about the elite I'm just talking about your average folks that you, they're the ones that commit the, the most like Dr. Barr you know average doctor that makes a fairly decent wage wasn't satisfied and had to go on to the dark side and start ripping out organs from who knows whether Shimei was really dead or not because I'll never really get the fucking truth of it especially when a Ukrainian hides it by saying take me to court if you want your daughter's medical files because I'm gonna fight you all the way so that you can't but before you walk out the door I'm gonna let you know that she really was dead because that's what her medical file said well if that's the case why did they hook her up to a bed for nine days why are you telling me to go get a lawyer because Canada is corrupt and I can't do it by myself without a lawyer when you damn well know I can't get a fucking lawyer because Canada is corrupt because clearly Dr. Vysinski, a Ukrainian, a white dude, right, <laughs> more than likely a fucking Nazi, was racist against my children because they were half black. Not to mention Chorny means black in Ukrainian. Like seriously, who wants to come back to this world after they're gone? And that's the funny thing. All these people going on causing all this havoc, mayhem, hardship, grief, sadness, just destruction in their path. You know, there's going to come a day, poof, they'll be gone and nothing will move except them and everything else will stay behind. And whatever they stood for, whatever they thought they could get, whatever they did get, doesn't matter what it is, none of it, absolutely not one shred of it will mean anything except for, except for when it comes time to be in the afterlife and at peace. Mm. Yeah. I didn't say heaven. I said afterlife. Because there is an afterlife. And a lot of these people, like an Eleanor Gilding, who seem to think that their Catholic Church is going to fucking protect them because they're so, 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 so religious, right along with Dr. Barr and his Punjabi religion, seems to think that his Punjabi religion will so, so protect him. That's a bunch of fucking crock. Because whatever you did on this earth while alive will most definitely follow you into the afterlife. I do believe that. Uh -huh. Because my grandmother took me up to her place on the night she died and she showed me exactly where she was going to be. I woke up in the morning, got a phone call. They told me my grandmother had died. But before that happened, she came and got me in my sleep and took me to, well, in her mind, it would have been considered heaven because she was a Christian and believed in the Bible, right? And therefore, that's how I know there is an afterlife. So whatever these individuals blowing up this and destroying that and killing, killing, killing and f reaping blood money and whatever, it, you know, it's going to follow them, people. It will follow them and their life will mean nothing, nothing. So we can't stop what these individuals are doing. 
no, no, we can't. So try not to let it disturb you too much. In territories okay. will completely so now we've got 49 views. Will be the first of them. Normalizing so they're basically saying the uh, if ambush. Israel doesn't halt its uh, campaign. Okay, so I forgot. I was going to put apple juice in with this to which like like this kind right whether it's Minute Maid this happens to be it looks like President Choice so anyway I put in four cups and I left a little bit for Amari so I put in four cups so we've got 11 cups of grapes right de-seeded and then I ran it through this um, well I already took it apart but anyway it's a one of those a different kind that I found because I'm doing other things and so that was 11 cups for so four cups so that's 15 cups basically of juice right and now I'm doing I'm squeezing this lemon now the thing about grapes you can can them simply in water you don't have to go through all this extra stuff okay I'm trying to, I don't know, flavor it up a bit. <coughs> if you're going to can grapes just in water, like whole grapes or something like that, be prepared to have your grapes, uh, lose their sweetness in the water so it's recommended that you uh, at least put them in a light syrup of some kind I put the seeds in here so I'm just gonna put anyway a little bit of squeezed lemon it's not necessary but I'm doing it so that's almost a quarter cup that's a half a large lemon Whatever. Maybe I'll put the whole lemon in there. I'll let you know. I'm going to taste this now. You can still taste the grape. Apple juice didn't do a thing. Now when I use the apples from the tree, it might be a completely different story. So in the meantime, uh, what I'm going to do this is the little device that I used to run the grapes through after I took off the skin, dehydrated the skin, <clears throat> after I de-seeded by hand as much as I could. And then I'm in my little storage area putting away food prep, <laughs> pulling out other things, feeling like it's Christmas time because I bought this years and years and years and years and years and years and years ago at Value Village and it turns out it's exactly what I needed and I used now I've got these metal but this has a really fine fine screen on it which was perfect for what I needed and it was really not that hard to use in terms of it didn't require a lot of strength to turn the crank right and it made really beautiful juice it took the jelly everything right and if I maybe missed a seed or something the holes were so fine on the screen that it's fine whereas I was looking online because you can buy machines that do that for you but they're like 200 bucks uh, I, so I'm like oh I'm looking around the house looking around the house. I found that and I'm like oh. it worked really good I don't have to buy one for as much as I do this stuff it's not necessary <coughs> so now because I've got what, 15 cups? <coughs> yeah. <coughs> 15 cups of liquid. Oh. 
16 and a quarter cups. <clears throat> I won't I won't count that quarter cup. I'm going to put at least seven cups of sugar. It should be a bit more, but I'm going to boil this down a bit on a medium low boil. <clears throat> One. <coughs> See? <coughs> <coughs> Sipped it right. The itchy throat. Two. sugar, eh? Six. I'm pretty sure that's what I'm counting, right? Seven. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to stir it around and bring it up to boil. And then we'll turn it down to a low medium boil. I'm working really hard, people. You don't even know. So I turned up the heat. It's on eight right now. My jars have been boiling, so they're good now, so I'll just turn that down. See, I get underneath these burners and everything. And I probably, I probably already melted my cataract lens. <laughs> my face over the heat all the time. Maybe that's why it feels like, it, it's like, it's not smooth. There's something in there. Turn that down, keep those jars warm. But you can't let it stop you, right? Especially now. <clears throat> because Israel, I don't think, is going to stop people. Because there's, like I said in my last video, there's too many warmongers, rich and poor, right? <coughs> <coughs> Obviously, the shareholders <coughs> to the big money. <laughs> make money off of war right and they depopulate the planet which makes them even more money so it's no it's nothing to them and then poor people well you know I and mean, what can you say about them and then that middle class the gildings and the bars you know what can you say about them? Right? Because they're they, they practice a form of warmongering as well. When you ambush families and medically kidnap people and cover up murder and all that crap and illegally harvest organs, that's 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 a form of warmongering. Right? So so now what I'm gonna do <coughs> up my mess. You see now the nose is running. Because the burner everything's right. And this fluorescent light is just oh you don't even know. But soon this is all gonna be done and I won't have to do this. And I'm hoping once I'm not working so hard and I go, you don't even know. And I've been looking after Kyrie for the last two weeks. Monday to Friday. Yeah early in the morning until the afternoon so I gotta get up if I even if I go to bed at 3 o'clock in the morning I'm up by 630 yeah. doesn't matter how hard I work during the day or whatever's been going on and even on the weekend look what I'm doing tomorrow I gotta go out if it's drizzling that's okay I'll work outside and drizzle rain I don't mind I can handle that but I gotta get into the rabbit hutch and that's gonna be a big, big ass job. Yeah, and it's it's uh, moldy from the hay that's been sitting at the bottom of the rabbit hutch. Right? Compacts, compacts, and once you start pulling it out, oh my god, you don't even know. I have to wear a 
piece of fabric over my face. And then the top part, you spray it down. It's going to take me four or five hours just to clean the whole bloody thing. Fill it back up with fresh hay and, you know, I'm getting it ready for winter, right? And then I'm going to be right back in the kitchen continuing doing what I'm doing because I've got these apples I have to do and that other bowl of grapes. I googled on Walmart uh, red grapes how much they were and they're almost like five dollars a pound. <laughs> but if I get red grapes or purple grapes or something half that price on sale, oh yeah, I'll buy them. Buy myself a jug or two of Concord grape juice and I'll go as far as making Concord grape jelly. This is green grape jelly. Only it's not so green because of the oxidization. But once it's done, it's done. I don't have to worry about it. And then because I'm in the, you know, my little, small little bathroom that I never use, but I use it as a storage room for all my YouTube paraphernalia that I've never really got to use over the years because I had that whip on my back when I was working in the yard like a freaking dog year after year after year. And not that I want to be quote unquote YouTube's bitch and start, but you know. <laughs> I'm making way and then taking out this kind of stuff, right, that I haven't used yet. Oh my god. Don't walk Don't walk away from the stove. Slow down, baby. Oh, now I'm smelling burnt sugar. What happened to you? Scott, you're not supposed to be boiling like that. Andre! <laughs> Stop. Oh my lord. Andre! This sugar really heated up fast. Okay, don't move, bitch. Alrighty. So I turned off the heat, but it's boiling away like crazy. That's not what I wanted to do. Just can't see very well, people, that's why. I didn't see it coming. I can barely see what's in the freaking pot. The only reason I can see it is because of the foam. And even then... Huh. Yeah. Okay, so what we want to do... I don't think that brought it up to the gel point. Although it was boiling, boiling hard. But I just want to boil it down just a little bit. Right, so I'm going to put it on, I guess, maybe three before it cools down too much. Oh yeah, I forgot. I put <laughs> four cups of, uh, what is that called in there? Apple juice. Yeah, and then a whole whack of sugar, so it brought the water line <coughs> about two inches up from the rim, <coughs> and I'm using a small pot, that's why, normally I use my medium sized large pot, but okay, anyway, as I was saying, it should be fine now. Just gotta pay attention to it. <coughs> <coughs> okay. <coughs> this is burnt sugar now. <coughs> you know, I went on to the burner and now it's burning. So anyway, the reason I'm doing this because when the time comes, not that you need this to make crepes with, because you don't, because you use a different flat little thing that you make crepes with. I'm going to be making crepes 
using this stuff, this kind of stuff, as the inside with a bunch of whipping cream. I'm just saying. Plus, you can use it on pancakes and waffles and all that other stuff. But this is to make flatbreads. All right. Why does that not open up? No, I didn't break this. I don't know. I think it hooks on somehow, some way. That don't make no sense. Ouch! Oh my god, I pinched my freaking nipple. Like, for frick's sakes, man! <laughs> what kind of cook am I? <laughs> this thing is supposed to stay up. I haven't used it for a long time. Well, I've never used it. I bought it, though. So... Why is this not staying up? This should stay up. What am I missing? There's something missing from it. There is nothing missing from it. Well, no, because it's supposed to stay up and crank down, and it's not cranking down. I don't remember. It's, or maybe it's backwards. Could be backwards. That could be it. Maybe it's backwards. I have the camera on. I don't know. I can't see. That's not how it works. That's not how it works. But this is great. Because you put your thing in there and So be careful with that thing. It's kind of dangerous because it's extremely heavy. I don't think you're supposed to go like that. Well. Anyway, maybe it's my imagination station. I could be thinking of something else. Anyway, it's it's to make uh, flatbreads, right? Okay, so it's the same day, you can see that, October 14th, now we're at 8.04 p.m. And look what they did, people, where are we? Here it is, normalizing the act of, an, of ambush, right? Now it's 47 views instead of 48. They've been doing this shit to me for a fucking week now. Okay. Um, like I say, I don't pay attention to those other ones because, you know, one, it's hard for me to see. But what, what caught my eye was this one. Pot is the least of our worries. YouTube, you know, up with their bullshit crap again, whatever it was. Because they, they age, re yeah, YouTube BS. Right, they age restricted a video that had been up since God knows when. I uploaded it in 2014, but I actually took the video in 2012, 
when they started changing their format on uh, YouTube with, you know, anyway, they took away the old pages and they brought in crappy pages and then they brought in this crap. So we're, we're still sitting at 101 with this one for now. But that, that's the perfect example, right? That's what they've been doing. I noticed this one because it was 102, then it went to 100, then it went to 102, then it went to 100, and now it's back at 101. Where this one went to 48, and then I got another thumbs down with number 48, that is. Okay, and number 48 came in. I got a thumbs down because I got two thumbs down now because I have two stalkers, or we've got Julian's sister, Tamika Johnson, coming in with two separate fucking phones here, with two separate accounts. I wouldn't be surprised. You can see that. Or it's her friend. Either or. It came in at 48. Came in with an extra thumbs down. The thumbs down is still staying there, but YouTube removed the view. Go figure. Okay. <laughs> Same day you can see that now you can't tell me that YouTube staff isn't fucking stalking my channel harassing me intimidating me threatening me insulting me mocking me trying to destroy my family okay what am I white and not right is that it like, what the fuck is wrong with this stupid website? I just had two videos taken down, people. Okay? It's bad enough. I'm, you know, I was reluctant to add, uh, upload this video because, I, serious, I don't want to be YouTube's bitch. Okay? I'm not going to fucking bend over backwards so they can shove their fucking foot up my fucking, fucking, fucking ass! As they basically destroyed the foundation with their stupid antics. As they direct their freaking traffic, right, back in the day to God knows what, to only end up prom promoting fucking Satism. Through their subliminal sim sim symbols and messaging and subliminal messages and, you know, their stupid jokes and just, just the whole nine yards. The whole nine yards, people. Okay? Anyway, let's just touch base on this. I, I, I got these videos somewhere. I'm going to find them, and I'm going to upload them onto BitChute. Okay? <laughs> like, seriously. Okay. We want to let you know our team. Yeah. Terrorists reviewed your content and we think it violates. We think. They're always so freaking ambiguous. We think it violates we think it violates our medical misinformation. Now you know why they're doing this, right people? Okay, you only got freaking Israel blowing up fucking Arab country after country as if, but yet they couldn't, they couldn't control what crossed over their 20 foot high fence for seven hours. They needed an excuse to go off and do what they're doing now, right people? Uh huh. Okay, anyway, I'm just saying. Right? And that's all you hear blasting on YouTube is what's going on down there. I guess it's a distraction of what's coming when it comes to medical misinformation. Now, before I get too far in this, okay, I am going to point out that I have not been inoculated. Okay? I have not. Neither has Amari and neither has Andre. I don't wear masks because I don't live my life being fucking paranoid, unless, of course, I put up a video on stupid YouTube, okay? Because you know they're gang-stalking. 
Oh, and yeah, I kind of like paranoid to live in my own country now because it's the new Congo and we know why, right? Because it's, it's, it's an attack on white people, right? And clearly YouTube doesn't like the color of my skin. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's basically what it is. Because I'm not going to sit up there and brown nose their bullshit, right? I'm just saying. Anyway, we know you might, you, we, may, we know you may not have realized, whatever, it already says they think it might, right? They're covering their dirty fucking asses because they're working with the dirty fucking cops to round up everybody like fucking criminals before they torture us more being that they're already torturing us, bankrupting us, forcing us out into homelessness, playing double fiddle by running body parts illegally to prop up the underground economy as they're all sitting around with the big J in their hand, you know what, with their little snuff movies, okay? And that's just the bottom line, right? Right? You know, these fine, fine religious don't swear, don't do, don't, don't, they're the ones that go around medically kidnapping. Do you think Eleanor Gilding swears as much as I do? Hell no. But I would never, ever fathom to, co to kidnap and harm an individual in any capacity, never mind a whole freaking family, just so I can sit up there in my peer group and brag on about how wealthy I am. Yeah. To what extent? But for some reason, because they don't swear, they seem to think that they're so much better. Yeah, okay. Last time I checked, you're the one that's going around thieving. If you're not thieving body parts, you're thieving freaking old people so that you can steal their money. As you're putting targets on young people so that you can steal their freaking organs. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we know how it goes and so on and so on and so on. Anyway... They took down two. I didn't know that, but I do know it now. And don't be surprised if another one doesn't fucking come in. Okay? Because this is what they do every year, like clockwork. Right? I told you, they've been fucking with my channel. I get two, three, four views, they all disappear. They come back, they disappear. They come, one comes with the thumbs down, and then the fucking view count goes away. So how the hell can I get a view count with a thumb up? I'm sorry, with a thumb down, and then the view count goes away. Huh? Oh, we're on number 48. Let's just thumb it down. And now we're on number 47, but the thumb stays down. And then they come in with this bullshit antics? You can't tell me these bastards aren't fucking stalking me. And if they're stalking me on fucking YouTube, you know they're stalking me in my neighborhood. Because they're working with the cops, people. Not that I'm a criminal or doing anything wrong outside of speaking my mind. Magnesium and periodic table of elements. Seedlings, May 17th of 2021. Why? Why? And, and this is medical misinformation. I haven't watched the video. I'll go find it when I can. And I'm just going to upload it onto BitChute, okay? Seriously. That's all I'm going to do. Along with the other videos that they've been taking down, right? Because they're, they're, they're sick. The, this fucking website, with their satanic symbolism, their subliminal messaging, their warmongering, their whoring, all this other shit that they fucking do to get rich, to make money, to pay the bills, as if they, billions and billions and billions of dollars that they make, isn't enough to pay the bills. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so they took that one down. <clears throat> because it might, it might violate their terms under medical misinformation. Because you know what they're going to be promoting in the next six months, don't you? With Dr. Bonnie, a.k.a. Dr. Death, whatever she is to you. With that, eh, eh, that swelling on her freaking neck. Some, some, some gear that broke a freaking screw inside her freaking neck. If it's not some sort of lizard thing moving around in there. Okay? Clearly, that individual is not 100% human. 
But that's what YouTube props up. They're uh, transhuman. They're robotoids. They're lizard people. Reptilians, whatever you want to call them. Shapeshifters. Right? They're skinwalkers. That's what, that's what fucking YouTube promotes. And they want to say that this is medical misinformation. And then, and then, because they're on a roll, right? Just like they've been taking away my views, letting them come back, taking them away, letting them come back, giving me a thumbs down, then taking away the view. Yeah, okay, whatever, whatever. And you want me to be your bitch? What, make a nice little video so that be a nice little girl, nice polite thing? Like, what the fuck? That's why they're bringing in the robots, people, and they're getting rid of the human beings, starting with the white people first. Welcome to Canada, the new Congo. And last time I checked, the United States has the same freaking problem. Yeah. Yeah. And that's not medical misinformation. No. No. That's reality. That's why half my family is dead. Uh-huh. Then, they come back in. I'm just waiting for the next one. I'm just waiting for the next one here, people. And they do it again. Right? <clears throat> and we think, we think, it violates our uh, it violates our medical misinformation policy. Right? And what's the title of this one? I'm putting out the call. Uh, right? I'm putting the call out. 10,000 Punjabis, 100,000 rally. Okay? Let me tell you something. You can take down the fucking video, but there are Punjabis out there that ain't falling for the old okie dokie. Okay? And the last time I checked, my landlady fell for the old okie dokie, and she's suffering for it. That's all I got to say about it. But her son is... But her son, I think, I think he, I think he fucking realizes what the fuck is going on. And it's like a Borg. It only takes one for it to travel through. So you can go down and take down my fucking video. Accuse me of this. Accuse me of that. But at the end of the day, you're not pulling the wool out of her. Everybody's eyes. Including the Punjabis. For all their flaws, they're not all that stupid. Some of them are. Many of them are. But not all of them. I'm just saying, because you know what I'm talking about, to some degree, I'm not even going to try and record it, I'm just going to look for the fucking videos on my external hard drives, and I'm going to upload them on BitChute as a BitChute exclusive, because YouTube took them down, and then I'll fucking record it and talk about it, and see if my feelings have changed, in regards to whatever it was that I was talking about. At that time. At that time. I only need one Punjabi to sign, side with me. And that's enough for me to know that I reached one. And if I can save one, then I guess the foundation stands for something. Okay, and then that one sooner or later will be a hundred thousand and whatever YouTube's got to say they can stuff it down their fucking throats and choke on it because it means nothing in the real world of the sudden death syndrome. Mm -hmm. Marta where everybody's having heart attacks, but nobody knows why. Even though everybody's convinced that there's medical misinformation out there because you're not wearing a fucking mask in a stupid elevator. Yeah, okay, get out of here, motherfucker. You can see I'm standing here with an infant child and another child beside me, and you're telling me you're only supposed to have two in the elevator? What, I'm going to send my grandkids up the elevator by themselves just so that you can be fucking satisfied? Like, grab a fucking brain, freaking retard. That's what the government's created, is a whole bunch of fucking retards. But 
I reached one Punjabi who is not. So, take down the video. I don't give a shit. Because when there's one, there's more. Mission accomplished.